We are visiting today a 24 meter vessel that was built originally in 1938 by Larsen shipyard in Germany. The hull was uh, made from wood and the frames was made from steel. Uh, the boat participated in World War II, survived it, captured by the Brits. Uh, many years later, in 1987, she was brought back to Larsen shipyard, totally rebuilt, main engine, the MWM, which I'm going to explain about this brand later, was, uh, has been installed as a new engine at that time. And the boat has been converted to a pleasure yacht with uh, two guest cabins, beautiful galley, beautiful salon. Uh, we are going to see all of it along this video. Now, this video is going to be quite long. If you want to skip from one part of the video to the other, use the chapters at the video description below. You will also find there a link to the yacht page and by clicking it, you will see photos, specification list and additional information. We are starting this video today from the foredeck. Let's first have a quick look behind me, looking astern. Very different vessel than what we normally used to see. The first thing that comes into your, uh, your eye is a lot of brass particles, which is very uncommon, like this huge pullouts here and the railing you somehow feel that you are visiting a museum a naval museum also this uh, typical hatches for this uh, era and maybe one of the most impressing uh, pieces is this uh, windlass which is all uh, brass casted Now we are looking uh, astern, there is a small sitting place here and what I didn't mention in the intro is that the yacht was actually converted uh, in 87, 1987 to be a motor sailor. So there are two short masts here, uh, the size of the rigging is not something which will allow you a uh, real uh, cruising speed but it will be a good support for the cruising uh, comfort and for the uh, fuel saving especially when you have following winds and uh, now this uh, forward mast uh, i'm not sure that it has a boom the mizan the back mast there has a boom and a small sail uh, which can be hoisted and can assist uh, in motor sailing. So this is uh, again this uh, nice sitting place from teak wood. Generally the teak decks has been replaced and they are healthy and in good condition. Also the corking as you can see here. And here is the pilot house, the narrow and small pilot house. You will notice it all through this uh, massive uh, brass frames for the windows. Uh, they are in good condition, they have been uh, uh, treated over the years. Also the seal here is in good condition. And we will move slightly astern, further astern. You can see the handrail here from wood. And let's go around before we dive and to see the boat from inside. Just a quick snap look inside to the pilot house. But we will return here to see more and these impressive windows from brass and brass screws. Same here with round windows. This windows has been produced more than 80 years ago and just uh, 
looks like uh, I mean they are functioning they are beautiful you just need to uh, to send them to clean them um, now there is a small kind of a fly bridge or a place that you can, can hang around up here uh, it has been ad added in 87 uh, due to slight changes in the construction after putting the new engine the exhaust of this engine is discharging up like an old uh, like an old steamship uh, so it's still sending the 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 exhaust up to the sky uh, here we can see the antenna of the radar there is an old radar here which is working uh, now here on the sidewalks the, it's actually some um, a storage place and just behind this wall and after the storage capacity there is the engine room which we are going to visit later as the last part of the video uh, this is the main door from outside to the engine room we will have a snap look inside and there is another door leading you into the engine room uh, from the main corridor from the inside now the boat uh, it will be delivered with this uh, sailing dinghy beautiful wood planking uh, sailing dinghy it has a small mast and a sail inside and here you can see the uh, Mizan mast and the boom and you can definitely hoist a sail here which will make the boat more uh, stable with less rolling as she's making her way uh, on the water and also when you have following winds or side even side winds it will help to uh, reduce the fuel consumption of the engine now this is the aft deck here and there are two uh, chairs here i mean you can it's of course there are loose furniture so you can put any other uh, furniture soon we will open this hatch and i'll show you the area where the two generators are located there are two, two generators here one from uh, onan and one from Kohler. but before that i just want to show you a little bit more of this uh, brass uh, elements which are to my opinion very genuine and beautiful this is one of them and also the stern light is the original uh, as well as some uh, tank ventilations pipes like this one so as we are sitting here we can have a look just from the stern looking forward another angle to see this dinghy and there is an emergency uh, tiller just in front of the camera uh, which you can drive the boat in terms of uh, the hydraulic uh, system is failing okay let's have a quick look down here under this hatch to look and check the generators the hatch is open I put half of my body already inside let's dive inside and see how this uh, technical area looks so here that's the port side that's the Cummins Onan 20 kilowatt generator now uh, turning the camera to the starboard side we have a color generator here 88 kilowatt and many systems from here you can actually see the hull now I didn't explain about the hull yet the hull is made from steel frames and covered with wooden plankings that's uh, also very typical to this uh, era uh, the the thirties of the previous century of course uh, some charges which are modern and you can also see uh, the control of the rudder here this hydraulic piston and the shaft of the uh, rudder itself it's a single uh, screw engine and single uh, rudder and yeah so from here uh, we will go outside from this technical compartment 
and we will dive to check the interior of the boat. Okay, just before we go to check the interior, I would like to show you how this uh, dinghy is launched. So we are using two uh, winches. One is portable, the orange one there, it has a remote. And the other one is actually located inside the engine room and it's controlled by this cable. This is the one which controls the boom. Uh, that's the main entrance to the living area. And we will go down five stairs and check the salon. It's a beautiful salon, full beam. Let's look around. Uh, with a lot of lights around. Solid wood furniture. Let's go all the way down. See how it looks when the camera face or look astern. This is the entrance where we came from. A little bit of uh, bookshelves, a lot of storage all around. Now this one is hiding a heat exchanger. So this is, uh, this is actually a heater for this room. There is identical unit on the other side of the stairs. And it's all, all the interior is uh, wooden, solid wood. Let's have another look from this angle. Sitting area. No TV in this boat, but if you wish to have one, quite easy to replace this picture just in front of the camera uh, and add a flat screen there. Now behind this uh, door, there is a long corridor which go all along the boat. We are going to go very soon through that. The boat is fully air conditioned. She has six units uh, to cool different parts of the boat. And that's the last look for the salon. Uh, ceiling looks in good condition. Somehow the design elements kept uh, the character of the boat. It hasn't been super modernized, um, but it doesn't look very oldish or dark. So to my opinion, it's uh, it's quite nice taste. A falsary looks a little bit tired, might need some refreshment, um, just in a scope of changing the fabrics. Uh, the table here contains a compass an old compass inside. It can be turned like this and probably it will need a re-varnishing. So we are uh, moving forward uh, into the corridor. Opening this door, this door can be locked down here. She has some kind of a, a hook to put her in place and we are moving forward through this uh, corridor. Now, here there is another door, this one, which leads to the engine room. So if the sea is high or you don't want to go uh, in the darkness at night, you can use this door uh, to explore the engine room. We will explore the engine room uh, as our last station for today in details. Uh, moving forward, climbing three stairs. Now underneath this carpet, there is a big freezer that you can store food. And this is the indication of the temperature. At the moment it doesn't work. This is why it shows 26 degrees. Beautiful corridor with this uh, huge brass heavy uh, windows, port lights. Now here on the right hand side is a small galley. Uh, it's in very good condition actually. 
um, working surfaces. There is an oven here for Mille. And small fridge, new fridge. It's a beverage fridge. That's not the only one. I'm going to show you the main fridge soon. Uh, there is a massive uh, gas stove with three stations place to dry your uh, dishes after washing them round and deep sink and a little bit more of a working surface places for uh, glasses nicely made now underneath here it is the main fridge and this is where it shows the temperature of the fridge. You can adjust it also from here. So it's modern. It's uh, basically a stainless steel frame. And there is quite a big uh, storage space all around. Now underneath, on the other side, there is a dishwasher. Sorry, that's a washing machine actually. It's not a dishwasher. Anyway, washing machine to clean your clothes and additional storage, cutlery and more space. Uh, if you wish you can use this space for a dishwasher or you can move the washing machine to another part of the boat and put a dishwasher here instead. So that's the, that's the small, uh, nice galley. This is one of the trays of the, of the refrigerator that we just saw. Last look at this uh, galley. It has two port lights which you can uh, open and extractor, electrical extractor up there. So you can uh, enjoy a lot of uh, fresh air. Now, just in front of it, there is, in the corridor, there is also port light. So if you wish, you can open them and have some uh, ventilation. Uh, maybe we look at this door because it's quite nice. You push this small button here and then you have this hook and you can pull it out. So basically, if you want to avoid uh, the smells or you have too much winds, you can close this sliding door. Um, again, every piece of interior here is made from solid wood and feels in good condition. Uh, the only thing that you might want to do here maybe is some of them maybe refresh the uh, varnishing. So from here we will go to the pilot house. There are five stairs and we are moving forward and entering the pilot house. Quick look around. There is a good uh, captain's chair which uh, lies on uh, trails so you can take it back if you wish. And behind it there is a quite a big couch and if you take the back support you have another kind of a place for uh, overnight sleeping if you need to do a shift or if you have crew that needs a night sleeping table that you can extend um, like this and you can even put two chairs in front of it and dine here. Now the one of the things that has been done in the last refit was a total refreshment of the electrical system of the boat so the the electrical system uh, in most parts has been rebuilt there is a Siemens uh, system here this computer and the wiring and new brackets and both generators can be start up from here that's the 20 kilowatt generator starting and then that's the 8 kilowatt generator uh, starting 
and basically they have a synchronized I mean this system can be synchronized so in terms that the 20 kilowatts generator is not enough the 8 kilowatts can kick in automatically so what we see now in front of the camera is a lot of uh, old navigation system the radar works uh, some of it doesn't work uh, there is a new Faruno GPS and plotter which is not on board basically it will be installed here and the boat uh, will be delivered with this uh, Faruno system uh, the engine um, gouges are working the RPM we will see it a little bit later or before um, we have the throttle here with a single screw so it's just one throttle and you can operate the anchors from here so this is anchor up and anchor down uh, there is a bow thruster also on board the bow thruster uh, is using hydraulic power which is delivered from the main engine uh, you have a VHF radio here which is working um, anyway uh, the new owner might consider to refresh some of the navigation um, uh, equipment here that's the steering wheel of course and quite good uh, look around there are two doors both sides of this pilot house also window to the back so you can even look to the back and see what's going on there now from here we will dive inside to see the two guest cabins which are available on board uh, there are sharp uh, stairs seven or eight stairs going down in a spiral shape quite comfortable and this is the the ensuite of the back cabin which is there so one cabin is there in front of the camera we will visit it soon and this is the bigger cabin uh, the forward cabin this has two beds good size bed and a lot of volume it's a beautiful cabin ceiling is beautiful kind of a beach comber style nice woodwork uh, with natural look together with this uh, off-white very nice some storage place up down here and a desk you can put a small stool here and moving forward this is the ensuite there is a manual toilet here quite easy to turn it into electrical sink and good size shower the boat feels clean more storage place in here some place to hang your towels and let's have another look from this angle very nice cabin there is a uh, hatches uh, that we saw when we started the video you can see them from here they are providing a lot of natural light and you can open them and have some fresh air we are moving back astern and here you can see the storage places very deep and large in here hanging arrangement and same on the other side in here the cabins are air conditioned now this uh, this uh, ensuite uh, can be used as a day head as well as uh, serving this cabin that we will see in a second then again sink 
and toilet and good size shower and all looks good and clean as you can see here the flooring now we are moving uh, slightly astern here there is a uh, some kind of a storage area it's a little bit dark but basically there is a ironing board you can put some cleaning materials and so on and this is the door which separates the second guest cabin which is much smaller but somehow well arranged and has a double bed port light which is now open and provides some fresh air same on the other side and there is a small dressing area here you can add a stool to sit and plenty of storage place hanging hanging drawer you can put your weather gear here another one here small shelf additional here mm, very deep so all in all there's quite a lot of uh, storage space all around yeah okay same here you can uh, you have air condition uh, in this room this is the control for the air conditioning system now we are going out of this uh, uh, guest cabin compartment climbing up back to the main deck into the pilot house and our last station for today will be the engine room going out from the pilot house to the starboard side beautiful day here in South Turkey beginning of October so we are moving astern again and let's check some of the storage areas that we have here there is a little bit of uh, storage places here here and another one here very convenient and just behind the wall or the back wall of the storage area is the engine room some lines fenders small fenders extinguisher and this is the entrance to the engine room so let's go into the engine room and let me give you some more explanations yeah. the first thing that we notice in this engine room is this big uh, tall steel balloon which is this one container uh, let's go down and I will explain more about that so here we are on the floor of the engine room in front of us this big steel container it contains a uh, pressured air this engine starting is using pressure air by distributing pressure uh, pressed air uh, on top of the uh, cylinders pushes the pistons and in a certain sequence and by that the engine is starting it doesn't use the normal or what you use to the electrical starter this is the way to start it uh, in order to create this pressure air there is a compressor here connected to a big electrical uh, machine uh, here we see a boiler uh, for hot water and just behind me it's this big engine Now this engine uh, was built by a company named MWM which most likely most of you didn't heard of but believe it or not this company is live and kicking for the last 100 years actually uh, her history stretches to 150 years back now the company nowadays is owned by a Caterpillar group 
basically what they do is uh, big generators combined with the that provides also the heat uh, which is part of the process um, uh, anyway so this is an eight cylinder engine with the 340 horsepower uh, turbo charge this is the turbo unit you can see here the injection pump of the diesel uh, it is connected uh, with a belt to a PTO which provides the hydraulic power it's back there in the dark uh, provide the hydraulic power to the bow thruster uh, the engine has a 340 horsepower and it is uh, the consume approximately 20 liter per hour at a cruising speed of seven and a half knots and uh, now this boat has 6,000 liters of uh, fuel so that means that in ideal conditions it will run 3,000 nautical miles uh, in real life probably it will be less so uh, yeah that's that's the engine room behind me there is a big uh, electrical pump this pump has kind of a distribution system it uh, it uh, function as a fire pump bilge pump and also quite interesting it can also uh, back up the main engine as additional uh, secondary cooling system if the cooling system of the main engine fails um yeah uh, oil storage this one is an oil storage clean oil storage which can be distributed to the engine uh, a little bit of a navy style uh, engine room heavy duty engine room uh, it doesn't look new but it's uh, everything is functioning the engine works very nice the gearbox is smooth so uh, another detail is that the boat has 1200 liters of uh, water fresh water she doesn't have a water maker which will be not very complicated and not very expensive to install and that's about it so here we are <laughs>